Russia continues mass cannon fodder assaults. The number of dead Russian soldiers is increasing. The Russian invaders in the Tavria war zone keep applying the tactics of the so-called cannon fodder assaults, prioritizing safety of their military hardware over that of manpower. That's according to Colonel Alexander Stupun, the chief press officer in the area. Over the past day, the enemy launched eight airstrikes and 26 artillery barrages in the Tavria direction. There were also 42 combat clashes, most of which occurred near Marinka. It is worth noting that the enemy pursues the tactics of cannon fodder assaults and keeps its equipment safe, Stupun said. According to the spokesman, a Ukrainian offensive operation is underway in the Militopol direction. Acting head of the planning department of the main directorate of the National Guard of Ukraine, Mykhailo Urshalovich, said that the enemy has been conducting an active counter-attack in the Bakhmut Axis and continuing mass cannon fodder assaults in several areas of the Avdiivka Axis, sustaining tremendous losses. In the Bakhmut Axis, in the Klishivka area, intense fighting continues. The enemy has been constantly and actively counter-attacking with the aim of stopping further advancement of our detachments and taking back the lost positions, he said. Urshalovich stressed that fighters from the 5th Brigade of the National Guard, as part of the Defence Forces, repel enemy attacks without losing previously achieved successes. In the Avdiivka Axis, the enemy continues mass cannon fodder assaults in several directions, sustaining tremendous losses in personnel and military hardware. The National Guard said, Ukraine has already said that more than 305,000 Russian soldiers have been killed. 